It is big. And this is Cam. And we coming to you today. From the Mississippi Ponderosa. So, you ever make plans for the weekend and think, you know, you're going to have everything planned out? Like cutting the grass? Right, like cutting the grass. I want. I know y'all are wondering why a lawn tractor is hanging from a rope. We're not going to show you how it got there. I'm not going to show you the setup, of course. But we're doing this because only one of our blades are cutting right now, which leaves us with this thin little stripe, and it bothers me so much. So we, now that the blades are replaced, all we need to do is clean it out, and then we'd be able to cut the grass. Our cooking dinner, let's check on our albino cucumbers. Mm, nothing really. Wowza! Look at that big, big, big one right there. So as you can tell, this little tractor right here is a very important part of what we do around here because it seems like in the south, it's always grass cutting season. We cut, I think, a little over four acres of grass with just this little bitty lawn tractor. As you can see, as you can see, it's a pro series. I don't even think you could really buy this. We don't even have no license to cut grass. But we got a pro. It has never thrown the belt. Obviously, we've seen that it chews up the blades, though. We cut the blades down nice on it. But that's because we cut the grass every single weekend, not including the sticks and the rocks that go under those blades all it the time. Never not grass cutting season in South Mississippi. Did y'all see that albino pickle my daughter found? It was pretty big. She ate it. She I ate did. it like an apple. Stop I don't know nobody me. that eats that. <laughs> Put it in a salad, maybe. But don't just crunch on it like an apple. But it's so good. Well, we're going to pick up some chickens. We're probably going to show y'all a little bit of that. And then she's going to the beach for the rest of her vacation. Yep. So... That's it. Peace out. 